All right, we're gonna follow the instructions in the beginner's guide now. So we're gonna go to the VCM tile. And here we're going to find the one we just changed, open it. So we want to right click and calculate FP again. Okay, next page of the guide, we're going to go to the VCM master tab and click on the right FAFP button. So here is the master tab. Once we write right, it's going to write it to the car. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the car off now. Just so it's not running, but it is still on. And right. Okay, so that was fast. It's already written. Okay, after that, uh, in order for that to have some effect, you have to configure each ECU that it is going to make a difference on. So now we go to that coding tab, read the FA out again, which will have our newly updated one, activate it, and do the read SVT. Uh, right click on the ECU that we want and select code. So there is a page that has a bunch of what we need listed for our EDC delete. Okay, from this post, remove 2VF, which we did, and then VO code DSC, COMBI, ICM, and HUNBT. So those are the one, two, three, four that we need to do. All right, back to our coding tab. And read. We just read our new one, and we can see there's no 2VF. Activate it. Okay, we're going to start with the DSC. So this one, we are going to do what they said and click on the read SVT. Okay, now it says right click on the module itself, not that CAFD, and click code. Okay, I guess that's German for uh, it worked. Ah, there's our finished. All right, one down. Our combi. We read those things. Good. CM
finished with air. I think it's because it, uh, it timed out and turned off to save battery. So I turned it back on. It's got a tire pressure check probably because that uh, didn't get programmed right, but we'll let it run for a second, recharge the battery some more, and knock that one out again. I was taking lots of breaks between filming this, so it, uh, it happens. Okay, we're back at it. After running the car in a little bit, I see him. We're going to code again. Okay, now we got a restraint system, fault and airbag, belt tensioner, error, which I read about somebody else getting that for some reason, so I'll have to look at why that is. P2 timeout on service, blah, blah, blah. Tell execution. Okay, there again. Okay, we uh, turn the system back on here. Okay, so our airbag thing went away after we programmed the HUNBT and restarted the car. I uh, noticed a lot of things got reset, like I had coded off the warning. You have to click OK every time. We started it. set Go back to our warnings down here yeah, my trunk really is open and I am almost out of gas so uh, those are all fine so reset TPS so we will perform a reset Good. So we'll test our button. Confirm. Yes. 
Damn. Okay, that is working again. Oh, yeah. So I want to reset. Instrument cluster. Instrument cluster. Ah, there it is. M dynamic. I like that better. So, ah, oh, cool. So now that blank suspension is just totally gone and there is no more suspension adjustments. Handy. So maybe that ICM one always fails when you code it, I'm not sure, but it didn't seem to matter because everything is up and running now.